In a 15-minute address over the ship's intercom system, Modley sought to defend his actions in ousting Captain Brett Crozier. He referred several times to what he called Crozier's betrayal of trust for sharing a memo pleading for help, a memo that reached outside his chain of command that was eventually leaked to the media. And that email went out to a broad audience of people. I know that I mentioned that it was a, a, over 20 we believe it was forwarded to even far more than that. And immediately it was picked up by the San Francisco Chronicle, which published sensitive information about the material condition of a naval warship. If he didn't think, it was my opinion, that if he didn't think that information was, to, was going to get out into the public, in this information age that we live in, and he was, A, too naive or too stupid to be the commanding officer of a ship like this. The alternate is that he did it on purpose. And that's a serious violation of the Uniform Code of Mil Military Justice. He also spoke about his meeting with Governor Leon Guerrero on the ship's local impact. And the other thing you need to understand is we're in, we're in Guam. It's a U.S. territory, but they have their own government and they have their own health care problems. And they're scared too, just like every other part of the world. And the governor of Guam has stuck her neck out big time with her own population to say that she is willing to open up hotel rooms all over this, this country or this state, this territory, so that sailors from the USS Teddy Roosevelt can go and be safe because she believes that you all are her brothers and sisters. And he also addressed the crew's very public support for their ousted captain, a reference to viral video of spontaneous cheering as Crozier disembarked the ship. I understand you love the guy. It's good that you love him, but you're not required to love him. I cannot control or attempt to change whatever anger you have with me for relieving your beloved CO. If I... If I could offer you a glimpse of the level of hatred and pure evil that has been thrown my way, my family's way, over this decision, I would, but it doesn't matter. It's not about me. The former Vice President of the United States, Joe Biden, suggested just yesterday that my decision was criminal. I assure you it was not, because I understand the facts, and those facts show that what your captain did was very, very wrong in a moment when we expected him to be the calming force on a turbulent sea. Joint Region Marianas Command confirmed Modley left Monday afternoon. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Laconto.